A small step in the laboratory before a giant launch into space. If all goes to plan, this rover will touch down on the Red Planet in February 2021. Its mission to collect samples from Mars and try to find if there are any traces of microbial life dating back billions of years. Uh, from here on out, it's, it's uh, test, test, test. We're testing everything we possibly can, shaking out the bugs uh, to make sure that we've got a reliable system to send to Mars. The Mars 2020 rover is currently in three sections and being constructed in this sterile environment outside of Los Angeles. It will be sent to the Jezero Crater, which scientists believe was once the bed of a lake and could hold Martian fossils if they exist. Takeoff is set for next February. What we do in this room is we make sure we have a strict clean room protocol so that we are not sending, not contaminating our vehicles so that we can preserve the science um, that we are interested in, in learning about. As well as searching for life, it will also prepare for possible human exploration. If successful, it will be NASA's fifth soft landing of a Martian rover. When we land at Jezero, we're going to use a new landing capability that gives us a hazard avoidance um, function that allows us to land safely, which future missions, human missions, uh, can, can also take advantage of. Ah! China also has its eyes set on space. It has successfully launched one of the world's most powerful rockets, saying it's a big step in its ambitions for the Moon and Mars. Its ambition is to have a crewed space station by 2022. One of the things that people really learn from the Apollo era and the space race of the 1960s is that if you try and compete directly, um, both sides lose out. So it's all about working together or at the very least doing a uh, collaborative, um, complementary missions. Working together or alone, the space race is about to reach new frontiers. Joan da Silva, Al Jazeera.